Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a parcel. It's just been delivered today, so I'll share the opening of it with you. I've had a quick peek to see who it was from. And yay, it's one of my favourite companies. So let me just get my invoice out. Okay. It is actually a craft buddy crystal art, but it came through Create and Craft because they were celebrating some event or other. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, was it last week, week before? Week before. And uh, yeah, I think it may have been so many years of craft buddy on telly. Um, so they had some special offers and they were cheaper than actually using a discount code and getting them from the craft buddy site. So they were really uh, good prices. Let's get into this and have a look. Plus I got my free gift as well. And we all like a free gift. So our first item is, oops, 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 coming out, coming out. Whoop, whoop. It's this. Um, I've actually done this one before and I did gift it to somebody to make into a picture and I just love it so much I wanted to get another one for me so I've got myself one now. <laughs> no, that one didn't have um, a special price on it, uh, they're normally $7.99 to buy because it is a huge card, it's a greetings card. Um, actually this looks slightly different to the one I did, I wonder if they've updated it or whether it's just me have to have a look at the other one that I did. I'm maybe getting confused with my uh, flying owl that I've um, got kitted up that I'm start I've started and not finished yet. Uh, but yeah, it's just so pretty. Um, and if you think how much cards cost uh, in the shops, then seven ninety nine isn't bad for something that somebody can then turn into a picture or a painting. Okay, um, I did get the club discount 10% because I am a Create and Craft Club member. And uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have a look at that one. And then this one came out with it. And this is the Craft Buddy Crystal Art uh, Queen's Jubilee sticker, which I have shown uh, before. But I thought, well, if you're going to have one, you might as well have another one. I'm sure this one will be gifted to somebody. Um, yeah, so that they can use it as well. Share the love. <laughs> And then what else did I get? Oh yes, that was a big bag for three items, but I suppose it needed to be secure. So this one is, oh, there's no clues to what this one is, but I know what it is because I remember what I ordered. This one was on special offer. Um, and I think I got, with club discount and the discount that Crafter Buddy were giving, I think it was round about five pound ish that I got off this. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's something that I have done before, not this actual design, but one of these uh, items. Let's see if we can get into it. I should have used my knife, shouldn't I? I wonder what I've done with my knife. Let me just lift that up there. Oops. Oh, that's it. It's fighting back. Yay! It's one of the buildable scenes, but this one, if it will come out, oh, and I had to take it upside down, didn't I? Is a jungle scene. How cool is that? Yay! <laughs> okay, so as usual, Craft Buddy love the packaging. I mean, that it's just, it's like I always say, it, getting a little gift for yourself, or if you're buying it for somebody else. It's wonderful. So it's all the different parts that you put the gems and crystals onto and then it stands up in a little stand. So it's like the Peter Rabbit one that I did um, this Easter and the chicken one that I did last Easter. Uh, it says eight plus, but obviously with supervision. Uh, my granddaughter's been doing them from being about five. Um, you know, you know your children, you know your grandchildren. The only thing that you need really extra to what you get in the kit is the scissors and maybe just cut the little packs open for them. But I always think if you're giving these to children, then it's great with them learning like letters and numbers and things because they can match up the letter that's on the packet to the letter that's on the canvas. So good learning tool. That's my excuse for buying them and I'm sticking to it. But to be honest, I tend to do them myself. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, so what have we got in the box? We have our nice little branded toolkit, which is your crystal art pen with a three placer, a little bit white boat, piece of wax, and there's usually about 20 grip seal bags in there. And they're usually a pretty nice quality one as well that they give you. Okay, so that's the toolkit. And we have our gems. Look at the colours in there. Oh, and some specials as well. Yay! I like the specials. This is the bit we want to see. Okay, oops. And yep, they've given us our little key code as well. So there are DMC numbers for any gems that we have. And anything with an AB, that's a, a iridescent Aurora Borealis coating, actually has AB next to the number. And then anything with sort of odd numbers um, and numbers that aren't uh, DMC codes are like Craft Buddy's own special crystal, special gem and special shaped gems uh, codes that I've actually started using to store all my special drill gems. I have got videos on that as well. It says it's 23 centimetres by 16 centimetres by 16 centimetres. We will give it a quick measure as well so we can have a look. Have a look at these. I can see we've got a giraffe right on the top. Oops, if we can get into this bag. Oh, there it is. They've confused me. Look, they've put the cellar tape on this side and then the openings on that side. I'm sure they do it on purpose. <laughs> oh, wow, and it's a big sun in the background. I didn't realise that. Oh, nice bag to keep. I'm back on keeping bags. Oh, naughty me. Okay, so let's have a look at this. All the different pieces. So we have our grassy piece there. And other than the edges, everything is completely covered in drills. Uh, and you just lift your plastic up, your stickies underneath. So you're just going to put all your drills uh, where there is a letter. Just match your letters up to your letters on your packet there. But yeah. Love that. Uh, it's quite quite a pliable plastic again, similar to the Peter Rabbit one. We've got a giraffe. Cut all the markings and everything on there. That's brilliant. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that one comes out. Really like that. And we've got two colours in the grass. So, you know, rather than just doing one blank colour, they have given it, they've graduated it with two different colours. We've got a heffalunt. Our little elephant and it looks like he's an African elephant he's got big ears and yeah he's trooping through uh, he's got grass there look but it looks like there's like sand or dirt underneath as well because it's a hot country that he comes from okay and we've got our beautiful lion look at him wow he's just sat watching it all he's yeah just it's hot can't be bothered to move not hungry yet, the lionesses will get it for me anyway. <laughs> so he's just having a snooze there, just a, a 40 winks probably. And then our beautiful tree. Again, we've got some grass clumps here and some, I don't know, what are these? Tun no, not tund, what are they called? Tumbleweeds. Well, they've not blown off, they've not blown away yet, but yeah, there would be tumbleweeds if they were fastened down. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> And a huge sun, there's going to be a lot of drills on that. So it's like either sunrise or sunset with the animals just wandering around the jungle. But isn't this fab? And then it all goes onto your base plate, which is like a jungly, it looks like a marble effect actually, but it's like a jungly, sandy, dry, um, sort of it looks like there's bushes on it as well. So yeah brilliant and then these pieces all just literally slot in once they're done it's a little bit difficult to put them in while you've got your paper, cover paper on but once the cover paper comes off and you've done all your drills you'll then just pop that one we'll go in there let's just see if i can get it to stand a little bit yeah and then where does the tree go does the tree go at the back I think so. I think the tree will go at the 
back and then it's just a case of matching up the little spaces on the bottom of things as to where they go is the giraffe there next to the tree i think so oh it's like uh, i'm playing with building blocks this one <laughs> no he's not wanting to go in uh, the elephant's going to be at the back as well and then we've got the little grassy knoll at the front nope that one goes there so it's the lion at the front okay and then the lion oh he's right at the front then oh wow so anybody that likes lions is uh, gonna really like this one so i'll just gently tip it so you can see it there sorry about the glare from the lights but yeah so you get your lovely 3d scene and i think kids would love this adults would love this and yeah it's just something a little bit different to look at something different to put out if you've got some of those battery operated tea lights i wouldn't put any naked flames near it it is plastic um you know it's likely to melt or cause damage or whatever but if you've got any of the battery operated ones putting them at the back behind the sun and letting it sort of shine through would probably yeah be quite effective so yeah oh quite looking forward to doing that as i say i love my peter rabbit one um, he has been put away, but uh, it was hard to put him away. He'll probably come out again before next Easter because the, the uh, mantelpiece is looking bare. But I suppose I can put this out. But yeah, that is really, really pretty. Really nice quality as well. So let's do a little bit. Oops, the giraffe's drunk is falling over. <laughs> Still a little bit of measuring. So it says it's 23 by 16 by 16. So we are, yes, that's definitely 23 centimetres that way. And we are uh, 16 centimetres that way, which is six and a quarter inches. Uh, the 23 centimetres is 9 inches if you needed that as well and then the height uh, well I get that to slightly over 16 I get that to more let me just put it straight I get that to more 17 centimetres maybe when it's pushed down a bit more so yeah we're definitely true to size there um, so yeah, love that, absolutely love that. Let me put that back in there and let's put all these pieces back as well. Okay. Put all of those away with the lion under the tree. Oh, I should have put that underneath, shouldn't I? Never mind. And then let's have a look at the girl. So we are a mixture of resin drills, because craft they always do resin, which uh, they tend to have a few more facets on, makes them a little bit more sparkly. So let me just grab that key code actually as well. So I will put that at the bottom, so I can see what our special drills are. So we have, we start off with a 310 black, there's 24 different gems and colours on this one. So 310 black and then we've got oh, a few blacks escaped into that brown party there uh, wanting to uh, join in obviously more fun in that bag and brown there uh, like a, a milky chocolatey colour and look at these these will be the sun I should think which is your yellow your orange your pale orange and a peachy orange and a little bit of white is that B5200 that that is i oh no, that's three eight six five so that's quite a white looking i three eight six five right now we've got a, a three or seven ab aurora borealis as a yellow so i suspect that will be mixed in with the sun to just make it sparkle a bit more and we've got a lovely ambery peachy color there a pale gold these are all your crystal gems a couple of different greens for shading beautiful orange very deep orange color there more nearly a red sort of orange and then a very pale pinky color 
and the standard silver crystals, a couple of uh, grey crystals, which I suspect will be the elephant. So that's quite nice, grey crystals. And then, oh, look at that, a sparkly clear crystal with an AB coating on it. Wow, sparkle, sparkle. Oh, yes. And then are these the special shaped ones? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at those. So we've got like a purpley AB coating on a black gem there. And we've got some larger amber gems there. And some little peachy coloured marquees. And some green, oh, two lots of green marquees. Three lots of green marquees. Oh, and they're all the same colour. So three bags of green marquees. There's going to be a lot of those. I suspect that's going to be the grass to make it look like grass and as the uh, gems sparkle it'll look like it's moving very pretty I like those okay so that is our little jungle see uh, jungle scene so product number one we'll just have a quick look at the flag because i have done an unboxing on one before but uh, if you've not seen it um where was the opening on this oh yeah there so this was my free gift and everybody loves a free gift and it is quite simply red, white and blue gems with a little bit of royal purple and this is one great big sticker and it is the whole thing is the sticker so if you remember I struggled with this on the last one yeah so there's no die cutting around the sticker at all but it is a clear sticker so you know you're not going to have a white edging or anything around the flag uh, so, but you will need to cut your uh, social media and uh, your company details off the bottom unless you want those on your wall it's entirely up to you but yeah very very useful for the queen's platinum jubilee and the purple is just for the queen's head and crown in the middle of uh, the writing there the writing doesn't have any drills on it which as i said before is probably a good job because uh, she will it wouldn't come out it's too small um to come out in gems but yeah uh, and uh, as you could actually use all crystals on this if you wanted to clear crystals red crystals and blue crystals and just bling it up a little bit more or you can just do it as it comes with your red white and blue so just a little patriotic there um project to say was it in the uk i'm uh, looking forward to the extra day off that we get with the queen's jubilee yay <laughs> and then this one which i have done one before as i say but I just absolutely love them and I particularly love this one. It's it's really stunning when it's done with the rope edges. Even the patterns on the books look really, really good when they're done. I don't know if you can... Sorry, you're getting the glare from the light. And, uh, yeah. So, and then the little medallion there is all specials as well. So this one comes with just the old style toothpicks. This is quite an old kit. This one has been around for a while, but it does go out of stock quite quickly. Uh, that is the larger. They're an A4 size card. So there's the four Christmas ones, which I have done. Oops, sorry. Helps if you can see them. There's the four Christmas ones, which I've done. And then the four birthday, uh, anniversary, thinking of you, just nice gift um pictures for people i haven't done the cat one but i've done the unicorn one a couple of times so i've done the owl before and i haven't done the car yet i have got that one to do so i have done most of the cards to be honest again lovely packaging and i love the phrase that they put on here no fuss no mess no glue so basically you've got everything you need to do with a, a project you just need a pair of scissors uh, unless you use your teeth oh i cringe when uh, my daughter opens things with the teeth Ew. 
<laughs> so we've got a pink pen, a green book, piece of wax, and there's, there's usually about 20 of the little grip seal bags. And let's just have a quick look. It comes with a nice, good quality envelope as well. So you know, that's not one of the flimsy ones that you're going to see through. And again, top tip, if you are sending it through the post, albeit I would suggest putting a piece of thickish cardboard or hardboard in this so that it can't be folded up to go through the letterbox. It would be awful if you've spent all this time doing um, a card for somebody and then it gets folded in half going through the letterbox or folded that way. Uh, so yeah the blank inside so you can put any greeting or anything you want i tend to put um i've got some a3 size pieces of paper and i fold it in half so it's like an insert in the card and you can put a stamped verse or handwrite a verse if your writing's not as bad as mine <laughs> um or if you've got um one of these stickers that you can get with verses on anything like that uh, you can just personalize it however you like and you have your key code on the back there, which that will match your key code on your gems. All Craft Buddy projects come with a key code um, on the project and a key code on the drills as well on the gems. So that if you do separate this and suddenly find that somewhere and think, which one does that belong to? You just need to look on the back of your cards or on your canvas um, and it will show you what it is. Okay, so that's the card, but look how gorgeous that face is absolutely wonderful. And it's got a lovely wintry scene at the back. All of Craft Buddy's artwork is licensed as well. So um, this is actually a licensed piece of artwork that they've used. And these books say Spell Magic. And what does that say? Potion. I'm trying to read it upside down. It says Potion. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, as I said, top tip for posting, that was what I was going to say, my brain went then, is fold it back the other way, or even to give it to somebody, so that when they take it out of the envelope, um, you're not going to be catching any of your gems and drills as you take it out, because they're on the inside. It is quite strange receiving a card, though, that's been turned inside out, because you think, mm, what's this? And then you think, oh, right, yes. <laughs> just protects uh, your gems a little bit and I don't actually seal cards um, I've done an odd one where I've known it's going to be a younger child that's going to be handling it and uh, possibly wanting to pick the gems off as um, some people do <laughs> but on the whole I find that the glue is well um, the glue is sticky enough to keep the gems on that you don't need to seal them and uh, yeah I say I did give this one to somebody and they have put it on the wall they've got a Harry Potter themed bedroom and they've put this one on the wall to join in with it with spells and potions and magic okay so let's have a look at these gems got some very sparkly ones in here so where are we starting uh, there is no dmc codes with this one unfortunately now i'm not sure whether the um chart that you can download on the craft buddy facebook page or on the website um you can download like the codes for the gems whether this one is on that list i'm not sure i would have to check so you can sometimes um match up your, kit, your uh, gems with DMC codes, but this one doesn't have them readily available because, as I say, this is an older kit and they didn't use to do that when they first started. So we have a grey and some lovely brown tones there for the different shades on the owl and a little bit of peach, that's probably for around his face and that's probably a 3865, like an off-white and a very pale beigey peach and a pale grey and another pale white and then the crystal gems which are for all around the edges uh, those lovely look how sparkly those crystals are that's how they all should come 
very very sparkly and clean you've got your lovely uh, pale gold ones and then three shades of pale blue and then the specials Woo, look at these we've got little blue hearts i'll show you them this way because they all seem to be this way around which are faceted like turquoisey blue hearts with an ab coating and then little ovals with an AV coat in there. And then we have little stars, sparkly silver stars. So yeah, they're really pretty. I love those hearts, really love those hearts. And they're all for like around the edging. And it, it very much looks like a rope effect when all these edges are done. Really, really sparkly and pretty. And I do think we only need one star. So we've got quite a big bag of silver stars and we only need the one in the middle. We like extras. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's my little haul for today. As I say, there was a special offers on and free gifts and you just can't say no really, can you? I'll leave links down below for all the products. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see more and you press that subscribe button in the corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.